Hello everybody. A couple of weeks ago I got an email from somebody that was telling me about the they read some type of article about a black curant supplement can rid uh, the odor of old people smell um, and she actually directed me towards some article that was written by dailymail.com. I'm going to read it a little bit and also look into other things that are related to this article or somewhat related to black current or just uh, one of the, uh, I don't know what this thing is called, uh, the skin gas that is being talked about in the article. So let's just read the first passage. If you notice a musty odor hanging around lately, it may disturb you to know that it could be an old people smell, a genuine phenomenon that can afflict people from the age of 40 and onwards. As a person approaches middle age, they are more likely to start suffering from a distinctive whiff, which is often described as a greasy or grassy odor. I want to stop here for a second here. Um, when I really think about, when I really think about old people smell, I don't think, well, I never really been around too many old people, but when I am, they don't really smell that bad. I don't really think they have a greasy odor or a grassy, they smell like they're from outside or something like that. But let's continue reading. Uh, one study suggested that the pong is caused by the emission of a skin gas known as tunanil, um, which is a byproduct of the normal aging process. But experts from the University of Chichester and Tokai University in Japan claim that there is a measure that you can take to reduce these emissions by up to 80% and thereby curb the smell. Uh, let's start right here. Um, well, let's read here. It says, due to the fact that black currants are a powerful antioxidant, they protect cell health and reduce lipid peroxidation, per um, which the researchers believe led to the decrease in gas emissions. We looked at the production of this particular gas, which isn't produced by 20 year olds, but starts at 40 and is linked with body odor as a consequence of lipid peroxidation in the glands that produce oily substances for our skin, Mr. Wellams explained. It's a pure oxidative stress reaction. We know that the antioxidants and black curant help neutralize oxidative, oxidative stress and they clearly reduce skin emissions in the study. I'm curious if any type of like um any type of food or any type of food that has high antioxidants can reproduce the same type of results maybe it's just not just black curant alone maybe it could be other things that have, that's high in antioxidants that can actually reduce gas emissions i i don't know i don't know if oranges have high high antioxidants and it's to the same level compared to the black curant but I do find this interesting. Um, I'll just continue reading. He added to see a reduction of up to 80% is amazing. It shows that black hearing can help protect the aging process and disrupt the normal situations that occur with oxidative stress. He concluded, the research involved a group of 14 individuals aged 49 and 64 years old who took the powdered black current supplement for seven days. 14 is a really small number to be honest. 14 is a really small number. But anyways, let's continue reading. A cap was fitted to capture skin gas emissions from the back of the neck. Here's another thing I want to say, stopping right now. I don't know if anybody else has the same type of experience, but I noticed that I have some type of like warm sensation on the back of my neck. And I never really hear too many people talk about that. Uh, for some reason, I get a warm sensation in the back of my neck, and I feel like there's gas that's emitting from my neck. So maybe... I don't know, I'm not saying I have an old people, sm I don't know what I smell like, right? But maybe there's something here to f for people who thought they have T-Mal, but in reality they have something else. They got old people smell and it's coming out the back of their neck. I don't know. But let's continue reading. The findings show that the berry reduced skin emissions by 28% on average with reductions up to 69% in six participants and up to 82% in a further two individuals. Okay, so majority of the reduction is only 28% and the sample size is only 14. Now you can finish reading the article. I'm actually gonna provide this, um, this link. I mean, provide the link in the description so you can look at it yourself. 
And toward the bottom of the article is talking about this website that has the black currant supplement. And I'm looking at this. This is actually the the website that they actually listed Pura NZ. So it's from New Zealand or something. And it says studies find that black currants can reduce old person smell up to 80% in adults. Yeah, but the average was 28%. And now they have like these two sports supercharge your performance health your new active ingredient uh cura nz be your personal best cura nz is a 100 percent natural sports and health superfood supplement made from new zealand black currants cura nz helps your body prepare and take care of itself thanks to anthocyanins found naturally in black currants and because of new zealand's strong sunlight high uv levels and cold winters our black currants contain the highest anthocyanin levels in the world and now they have like sponsors like oh yeah these are the people who i this this website or this company has been on women's health runners metro mail online heat i don't know when i when i go into this website something about it feels inauthentic but i don't know maybe it works um here's another thing all i did was just type in black curing supplement and there's a number of products that are being provided on Google. And when I go to shop black curing supplement, uh, you have elderberry force, elderberry. And there's just a number of just like black curing supplements and oils that you can take. Um, the highest I've seen is $75. The lowest I've seen on this page is like somewhere around $14. So if anybody wants to try that, that's cool. Then I want to go back to what they were talking about before, where they were talking about a skin gas emission called tunanino. Um, I just looked into a couple of things, and I stumbled upon this. It's tunanino, newly found in human body odor, tends to increase with aging, and I found just a small Wikipedia article about tunanino. But it's very interesting with the Wikipedia. It just says tunanino is a unsaturated aldehyde the cuddler's liquid is a important aroma component of aged beer and buckwheat hmm i find that interesting i never heard someone say i smell like beer so maybe i don't really have it but if there's anybody over 40 and people said man this this woman smells like beer um maybe you might have this let's read just the whole passage from this scientific article journal of investigative dermatology human body odor consists of various kinds of odor components here we have investigated the changes in body odor associated with aging the body odor of subjects between the ages of 26 and 75 was analyzed by headspace gas chromo chromatography uh, spas spec spectrometry to non-inol and ultra unsaturated aldehyde with an unpleasant greasy and grassy odor with this was detected in only in older subjects 40 years old or older furthermore analysis of skin surface lipids revealed that w7 unsaturated fatty acids and lipid peroxides also increased with aging and that there was were positive correlations between the amount of two non and in body odor and the amount of unsaturated fatty acids or lipid peroxides in skin surface lipids Tunan-NO was generated only when unsatura unsaturated fatty acids were degraded by degradation tests in which some main components of skin surface lipids were oxidatively decomposed using lipid peroxides as initiator of an oxidative chain reaction. The results indicate that Tunan-NO is generated by the oxidative degradation of unsaturated fatty, fatty acids and suggests that Tunan-NO may be involved in the age-related change of body odor. Hmm. Yeah, so that was a mouthful. Um, hmm. Dimethyl disulfide. I think I've heard of this before. Dimethyl disulfide. Let me not get into that. Um, but in any case, yeah, I just wanted to share this article. I'll probably drop these two articles. Maybe I'll even drop the link to this thing if you want to purchase this capsule. Um, but other than that, there's that's all there is to it. Hopefully some people can try it, and I don't think I'm going to try it right now, but hopefully some people might have success if they actually try it. In any case, I'm going to end it right here. You guys have a good day.